two-piece time covers. Are they worth it or not? What do you think? Welcome to Ken's Corner. Guess what? Well, we're going to talk about two-piece time covers. Are they worth it or not? What do you think? I don't know. You know, traditional is when you want to do a cam swap, you would have to take the whole timing cover off. That means you have to take the balancer off. But with a two-piece timing cover, you don't have to remove the balancer. All you have to do remove is the top piece. But is it easier to do that or not? I really don't know. That's why I got a two-piece time cover, because I wanted to know, can I pull the cam out and it'll be easier or not? So, only way to find out is try it out. See if I can see if I can pull the cam out or not. See if it's easier or not. So, anyway, so let's get started and see how it goes. Okay, to get started, all you have to do is remove the top piece. Now, we're going to simulate those, the balance are still on here, okay? And the balance is, is really not that much bigger than the outside of this okay so it's really not going to be in the way of pulling the cam out okay so let's go ahead and uh, pop the cover off here okay and it's held on to buy a bunch of these Phillips screws and what I did I went ahead and removed the majority of them so I just wanted to you know speed the process up and this timing cover is one that you can purchase from Summit it's a pretty nice little timing cover it's polished Aluminum, see how shiny it is. Comes with an O-ring around it. I'm gonna go ahead for. I'm just gonna. It has an O-ring around. It. I'm gonna go ahead and remove it so it's out of the way. So, so in theory, all you would have to do, okay, is basically pull your timing bolt or timing bolts on it for the sprocket. Okay, we go ahead and remove that. But most importantly, you want to make sure is it's at top dead center. Now this one's already set up to top dead center. Uh, when I had it off, I set it all up. But what you have to do, you have to make sure it's at top dead center. And the only way you can really tell if it's at top dead center is just gonna have to sign the flash right down. And then on the end of the sprocket, there's a little uh, dot. Just make sure it's pointing down. Then you know it's lined up to dot to dot, okay? So once you got that lined up, all you have to do is pull these bolts off, okay? Okay, with the timing bolts out of the way, what we're going to do next, we're going to take the chain off the, the sprocket here, okay? And, see if we can get that out of the way, okay? Now, the timing chain is going to be, I might just have to kind of let it drop down to the side there. Okay, so now it's out of the way. Now, one of the issues that I see already, okay, that's going to be somewhat difficult to, to get to, you have these bolts that holds the retainer in place, okay? It's easy to get these three here. There's one stuck way down there. Now, I'm using a Torx right now for bolts, but if you're using a, an Allen, it might be a little bit easier to get to. Because at Allen, you can use a 90 degree to turn it, possible. But how I have this set up, it's almost impossible for me to get this bottom bolt taken off. Okay? I, I, just, I just don't see how I can get to it unless I can get a right angle Torx on this to move it around. As you can see, this bottom bolt here, it's going to be very hard to get to. I'm going to have to take a right angle Torx and see if I can't even turn it. So these are countersunk, so I, I, a bolt's out of question. An Allen head bolt might be a little bit better to get to. I'm not sure, but uh, definitely this bolt's gonna be very tough to get out. So I don't think I can pull the cam out without pulling the timing cover out, at least for me. So now it, you look at it, is this gonna be easier or not? I don't know. If you can get that bottom bolt out, once you get this off, the cam should go ahead and slide on, right on out. Depends on the size of your balancer. If it's anything bigger than, you know, the bottom of this right here, I don't know if the cam's going to be able to clear that or not. 
So it can be very, very close. So, I mean, for me, after I saw this little demonstration here, if I'd known that, I just got a single piece and been done with it and just deal with pulling the balancer off. Getting the balancer off is not that difficult. I mean, they're easy to pop off, a little bit more work, but you can get them off. So, but I thought I'd go ahead and buy a two piece, just let people know, hey, if you wanna spend the money on one, you better know what you're getting yourself into. No sense spending extra money on something you really don't need. So, but since I have it, I'm gonna use it. Uh, but I thought I'd tell all my friends out there and, and say, hey, for me, it's not worth it. It might not be worth it for you. So with that, hopefully you like this little short clip video because I thought it was very interesting to see uh, what are, if a two-piece is, is worth it or not. So anyway, with that, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that like button and please subscribe to my channel. And I sure do appreciate it watching. Thank you.